Okay, I am back. So, I got in the mail some wonderful cards and things, and C. Taylor, she, Cheryl Taylor. Look at Cheryl's. All right. Look. Cheryl, yes. Anyway, she had, from Canada, had tried to mail me a Christmas card, and it came back to her. It was the right address. I don't know what happened. So I got her Christmas card, and then she included with it a Valentine's card to go with. So here's her Christmas card. It is adorable. Cheryl, I love this, how you did the circle with him on top. That's a Stampin' Up! Snowman background this and then this opens and there's the merry christmas and look at her signature stamp isn't that cool handmade with a little fingerprint i love that cheryl and with that she included I'm trying to hold um what is this oh it says greetings warm greetings or you could say seasons greetings and they're outlined so pretty with that foil. I bet that's the Anna Griffin foil paper. So pretty. And warm wishes. Let me just hold it like that. I think it's just as easy. <laughs> warm. There's wishes and warm. I love the shadowing. Such pretty combination there. Very, very pretty. So Cheryl, it got here. Thank you, thank you. I already emailed her, but I want to make sure she knows. And then... Oh, sorry, and here's her Valentine's card. Isn't that frog adorable with his little hearts? Is that a Stampin' Up! little guy, too? Happy Valentine's Day. He's adorable. His little googly eyes. Really reaches you like the another reach. And she goes, are you crossing off the days until retirement? Yeah, especially after this week. Holy mackerel. Now, I had great visits with parents telling i had more than one say that our child just loves you has nothing but good things always comes home with stories i'm sure and how kind you are and i was like me okay anyway so that felt really good so that was nice um yeah okay then judy sent me a card but it kind of it was a shaker i'm going to show it judy we all struggle with these shaker cards. It kind of, the top layer didn't stick, stay down. Isn't this pretty though? But yeah, that is because it's foam. What is that? Well, it's trying to stick the vinyl or the clear plastic to, you know, the foam stuff. So anyway, Judy, this is a common problem. Plus it went through the mail, so I'm afraid that probably didn't help it. So she was, I emailed her and I said, I'm sorry, it blew up. But it is very pretty. I'm just going to re-glue it. She goes, just throw it away. No, I'm not throwing it away, Judy. I like it. And then she sent this, which Miss Emma will love. Had so much fun on with Emma came to do her Vaseline going on. Um, Valentine's Day box, which I was so excited about, you know. Well, she had already wrapped it in white and colored on it a little bit. Well, and I had my coffee table with tons of stuff for her. Stickers and washi and... Yeah, well, we watched a little show first, and it came on with a craft to do, a hamster kitty out of a pom-pom. That's all she cared about. She goes, okay. I go, no, we're going to work on your box first, and then we'll make the hamster kitty. So she slapped on a few stuff. She goes, I'm done. I'm like, really? <laughs> anyway, we did a few more, but she was more into that hamster kitty. It was pretty darn cute, though. A little pom-pom, and I was able to cut out what looked like ears, and she would tell me what she wanted. You know, it's very cute. Judy sent me this. She got this on Timu. She said she ordered two by mistake. Thought it would make a cute inlay card. Yes, very much so. Kind of like my quilted cards. So I love that, Judy. Thank you so much. This came from Jane, who's always so sweet. And sends me these gorgeous... Look at this on the back. Is that not the cutest? These people that think of all the... Look at the inside... Jane, you do such beautiful work. I just, you guys are all so talented. And she even decorated the envelope. And I won't show, but it has a gnome Happy Valentine's Day sticker on it too. But that would show my address and her address. And I didn't want to do that. I, this is my, really my only St. Patrick's Day stamp. It's La La Land. But I love her. And I have a couple 
um, colored, so I need to turn them into cards. See, I just put it in with the stamp, so when I complete something, if I don't use it right away, I just put it in. But here she is, isn't she cute? And the La La Land, it's, I need to fussy cut around her, she got dirty. The outside edges. But those were colored with Copics. Were they both colored with No, this is um, colored pencil, actually. That looks really good. This was probably last year. Wow, that's pretty good on that, if I do say so myself. And look at the... This one is Copics. So there's the difference, right? I mean, I use different green tones, but oh, I really like this one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I colored it. The brain. I, I don't have a memory past three minutes ago. And it, sometimes not even that. Much less last year or whenever I colored these. But I saw these out and I was like, oh, I need to do something with those. There you go. Okay. Then I also worked on, I'll get to the haul here. I swear, I really, really will. So I had gotten these a while back and I was watching... Anna White, and she was doing vintage, not these with watercolors, and just showing, what did she say? It was so cute. Lines are just limits of the imagination. I can't remember. I'll have to see if I can remember. Limits of the imagination, or I can't remember, but it was so cute. She was just like, don't be so precise when you watercolor. Just have fun. So I have this one. I got this a while back. When did I get this? 1921 or 2021 1921 2021 but anyway it came from red lead art and craft and i love the envelope and it came with this inside so i believe they're still there and i got let's see this little one is she's so cute i'm gonna take her out of the box rubber stamp isn't that adorable so i worked with that one and then they also, and then I got this one that's the same little girl, but just a little bit bigger. Butterfly wings. Redleadpaperworks.com. There is the site. But like I said, I ordered this a long time, but I believe they still have this on there. And they had, they decorated this envelope. So cute. Gives you an idea of all that you can get on there. Of the bird and the flowers and of course the bee. So yeah, check them out. And I sent tags and dear art girl, if you love your order, please tell a friend. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling lots of friends. So and then came with tags. So I'm sure I shared it when I got it. Um, but yeah, cute little box with a stamp on there. Very cool stuff. So what I did was I watercolored them on watercolor paper. I even got my watercolor. It took me a minute to find them when I wanted to show you. Isn't she cute? And then I just did a little bit of gray around her and then I can color, cut that out. Shadowing her. So there's that little one. Here's that same one, only bigger. I just love the colors. She was just so sweet to do. So this one kind of has blonde hair and a little dress. And then I did this girl. And I cut her out after painting or shadowing her. I don't know if you can see that very good. I got my big finger. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. New nails. <laughs> Gotta have them done before. So I won't be on for a few days for until next week sometime because I'm going to be out with Miss Tori and Miss Vienna visiting my kids. So I won't be doing any videos. So do not worry. I'll be back. And then I did this one where I kind of speckled it, flicked it with color. I don't know if you can see that either. There you go. Little purple wings on her and kind of a brunette hair. <laughs> This little girl is so cute. And I would almost do this one, you could do, just cut off the wings because she just looks like a little school girl, like she's in trouble or something. My little socks. Cute. So that came from Red Lead Arts and Crafts. I'm gonna put these in here so I don't lose them this time. But I, I just love this. Isn't that the cutest little vintage image of a girl? 
All right, so now let's get into the nitty gritty while you're all here, right? Um, went to Dollar Tree this morning because they get their truck on Tuesdays and I was hoping they had stuff out. They didn't have too much, but I got these for Vienna. Little socks. They say two pairs, stage two, six to 12, and she's seven months old, so those would fit. And from, oh, I'll stay on Dollar Tree. How about I do that? I'm into this face mask thing and now where you put this gel. So this one, <laughs> peel off mask, energizing coffee. Hmm. Na peeling away the nasties with coconut and coffee to hydrate and get your skin going. There you go. I like the last one, it felt really good. So I don't know how often you're supposed to do these, but and then this one, hydrating, cucumber. I think that's all I got. They had more, but I just got the two. I think I only got two. I think so. Okay. And of course, I got starting to bring out the gnomes. I have to go through my Easter stuff because I think I have the bunny gnomes from last year. So, And they have those little weird arms. I wish they would stop that. But anyway, I saw these, and I don't remember these being out last year, but who knows. Like I said, I really need to look at mustache. So it comes with... A purple guy, a blue polka dot, pink stripe, and then it repeats itself. So you get, what is that, six of that one. And then I got, I don't know all of them. I guess I just, I did get the plain. They have plain ones and then they have the gingham. So then you get the pink, the mint green, and a blue gingham. I'm sorry. Ging they are just too cute. So. And to stay on that gnome, I said to the cashier, I go, can you tell I like gnomes? She goes, everybody seems to. I go, yeah, it's a thing. And this, look at these. Now, these could be used on my window, but they can also, I think, they're not so big that I think they could be used in like a little journal or a card. And then it says, window clings, turn me over, 24 clings. So they have the eggs, which I'll let Emma decorate. Tori will be here at the end of March before Easter, so they could take these and decorate. And they love the window crayons that I have, so they can have at it. And then, Only One Life Creations, I got the new, what is this, Lost Shadow from Tim Holtz. I don't get all of it anymore because I just don't tend to use it. So I got the Distress ink and the Distress Oxide, but I did get the alcohol reinker. I just didn't get the spray and the, you know, the embossing powder and everything else. So, because, you know, I'm trying to show restraint. Okay, then back to, oh, wait, watch it. Listen, listen for it. Arala Miha shop. There we go. I went on her last night or this morning, I think, actually found these baby and I think I've gotten baby from her before but I don't think it's these ones so they're little circles like a two inch circle cute and then I got the music sheets with the rose prints and stuff she has these prints that she does and then she put music overlay on it like gorgeous so it's the same look but just different flowers there's that one there's this one so, Arala Miha, I did it, you guys, I did it. And then here's just the music sheet, which I like that. So check her out, she's got good prices. She does have a 10% or they, I think it's a she, they have um, coupon, but if you use that, and these were 50% off, then it took that off and it actually went up in price. So be careful when you do that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Then I got, I've been ordering from KS Crafts. I think there's a couple things over there, but Easter. This is an Easter egg. I think it can be a shaker. So I'll make that up soon. And I don't know. I mean, seriously. Ends for your pen, diamond painting, and another one of these. I got too many of those. I don't know why I ordered those because I also <laughs> ordered this pen. And it comes with them. I wanted the metal tips. Try that. So. What is that other thing? Oh, the glue. 
So I thought, well, the metal tips might be good. Might release easier, I'm thinking. And somebody mentioned glue dots for the smaller end, the single. So these micro dots to use on that. So I got those because, my God, somebody said I had to have them, so I did. And then this was another one for the multi-placer. It's called Quake Hold Museum Putty. So I will let you know what I think, but it was recommended by somebody that is a diehard diamond painter. So I'm thinking they must know what they're talking about. So we'll give that a go. And when I ordered from only One Life Creations, they have great prices. I don't, I mainly get there. They have such good prices on their Distress Oxide and Distress Inks, but I also grabbed a Graphic 45 Alice's Tea Party collection. And that's what this shows. And it's in it. Not for me. For somebody else. I bet she'll figure out who she is. Anyway, so I got that. Allison, well, I'm not going to pull it out because it's a gift. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I just was getting a message from... So I'm wanting... And I don't like calling it this name because it's... I don't know. I don't like it. Anyway, but I only know it by this plant I've want, been wanting, Wandering Jew plant. So it, it seems politically wrong and harsh. So don't judge me. I, I just don't know what else to call it. <laughs> anyway, I was on Facebook Marketplace and a gal had like four starts in a pot. I mean, man, plants are for 20. And I thought, eh. So I said, we, and it's been up for three weeks. So I've been watching it. And I said, would you take 15? And then I have another little start that I got off Etsy that's kind of, eh. So I'll put it in with its buddies. But I don't know that I have the right lighting in here. So we'll see. But I'm getting quite a collection of plants. We all got bit by the indoor plant bug during COVID. I sure did. So it's fun though. You know, it's something to take care of and have alive in my house. So, all right, guys, like I said, I might come on tomorrow. I might not. And then I won't be back until middle of next week. So have a great weekend if I don't talk to you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.